Wayne Swan and Kevin Rudd's home state of Queensland will be critical to the outcome of this election. Even a small swing against Labor there could see the coalition winning back up to half a dozen seats. And by all accounts, Labor's vote in the Sunshine State is softer than elsewhere. The coalition is hoping that uh, some of state Labor's anger over their dumping of the former Prime Minister uh, will be expressed at the ballot box. But in some marginal seats, Labor is also nursing the hope that they can exploit controversy over coalition candidates. From Brisbane, Peter McCutcheon reports. From the benches of Parliament to the side of the road. With his northern Brisbane seat of Dixon likely to be decided by the narrowest of margins, Liberal MP Peter Dutton is taking nothing for granted. I'm confident that, uh, that we can retain the seat, but it'll be a tough fight. And the opposition's health spokesman believes his job has been made easier by Labor's dumping of its former leader and fellow Queenslander, Kevin Rudd. I think in seats like mine, it's, uh, it's going to be a factor. What's the score? Nadas are 26. Fison's are 6. Peter Dutton's Labor opponent, former teacher Fiona McNamara, says any concern about the local lad's downfall has been overshadowed by Julia Gillard's strong performance. People are, are warming to her, absolutely. But she's not from Queensland, is she? No, but I think people like straight shooters. I'm down here at the club. People here tell me exactly what they think. Dixon is one of a series of marginal seats wedged between northern Brisbane and the rapidly growing Sunshine Coast. Although held by the Liberals, a redistribution has made it notionally Labor. Seats such as Dixon, Longman and Petrie are classic swinging voter country, with a relatively high proportion of first home buyers and the service problems of outer suburbia. I think uh, people here are really concerned about their cost of living, their quality of life. John Sullivan won the seat of Longman for Labor in the Kevin 07 campaign. We're working really hard to get a GP super clinic into Caboolture. Yeah. And he um, continued to back uh, Kevin Rudd right up to the very end. A lot of people have spoken to me about it. A lot of people have uh, indicated that they were happy to see that I supported Kevin on that day. Um, so that's... Uh, and you did? I did. And so that's worked well in that context for me. But I think that people have moved on. There has been a lot of resistance to the way Kevin Rudd was deposed, uh, the way that faceless men now control the Labor Party, and Queenslanders, I think, have a finely tuned a political antenna for this. Wyatt, nice to meet you. The oh, Liberal yeah. National Party oh, candidate for Longman, Wyatt Roy, has enjoyed considerable publicity since his pre-selection earlier this year because of his age. He's only just turned 20 and is voting in his first federal election. Yeah, if we lived up here, yeah, mate, you'd right. have our vote. Great. Thanks for that. Sure. No, I really appreciate it's that. It's good to see someone... I'm worried my son's going to get off his bum and vote. Right? <laughs> <laughs> going to give me a call, I'll have a chat with him. Do people raise with you your life experience? Uh, I, I think, you know, sometimes some people do have a natural hesitation, but what they are happy is that uh, I'm on their front door. I mean, you've been walking around with me today and you've seen it. They, they want to see someone that's out there doing something. They want to see a parliament that's diverse and representative of the Australian people. Your opponent here has got a fair amount of publicity uh, since he's been pre-selected. Uh, does that help you or does it hinder you? Um, well, I don't comment about my opponent at all uh, in terms of... Uh but I think it doesn't hurt that he's, um, he's getting publicity. It does uh, focus people's idea, uh, minds on the fact that there is a choice here. Because for a lot of people, he'd have a higher profile than you have. Yes, so is Genghis Khan. In neighbouring Dixon, the Liberals' Peter Dutton raised his profile last year when he unsuccessfully sought pre-selection for another seat, a fact Labor is keen to point out. I was over at Albany Creek State School's fate today and people were raising that with me. They feel very disappointed with him that he chose or attempted to choose to leave them for a safer seat for his own political career. You make mistakes, I'm human like anyone else. Uh, I cop that on the chin but I ask people to look at uh, what has been a record of I think a good nine years of service to my local community. Hi guys, how are you all? Hello, how are things? On the south side of the Brisbane River, the former Prime Minister is campaigning in his safe Labor seat of Griffith. He may no longer be part of the main political game, but both sides of politics are on the lookout for any sign of local anger about his downfall. That's because Labor holds 10 seats in Queensland on a margin of less than 5%. So everything from the appeal of the local candidates to the treatment of Kevin Rudd 
is being closely scrutinised. There's resentment, but I don't think it's because he's the hometown boy, because it seems to be pretty similar around the country. Graham uh, Young is a former Queensland Liberal Party president who now runs an online research business. He's been analysing what motivates people's voting intentions and believes the Rudd factor in Queensland may be overstated. See ya, bye bye. Yeah, right. <laughs> His influence at the moment, I think, is limited to uh, providing a lot of dirty air to the ALP campaign by being a constant, constant magnet of uh, press attention. But out on the hustings, the candidates are taking nothing for granted. People will make an overall decision about what they want to do, uh, but there is a real anger about the way in which Kevin Rudd was treated. Do you think it could be a vote changer, even if it's for a small minority of people? Well, I'm hoping it's a vote changer to me. Is it cold? Yeah, it's cold. I've got to... Oh, I certainly think it'll be close, and I'll be working hard to get every single vote. Thank you.